For writing today, our goal is going to be to create a thoughtful ending to our stories. Now, you might not be done with your first book, or you might be done with your first book and on to your second book. It doesn't really matter where you are. Every story has an ending, and an author should spend some time thinking about the ending. I'm going to challenge you today to find some of your own books, some books that you really love at home, and look at the ending to see what the author did there. I have a couple examples here. I have the book Giraffe Problems that we read last week. At the end of this story, the author put a thoughtful ending because look what it says. I feel good about our necks, Edward. Thank you, Cyrus. For once, so do I. Yes, for once, so do I. In this book, everything kind of ends up happily ever after, and the characters tell you how they feel at the end, which makes it a thoughtful ending. The author had to really think about what would convey to the reader that the characters were happy at the end and that the problem had been solved. The author chose to put the two characters sitting together and talking about how good they feel. That's a great way to end a story. Another story that we've read before in, in school is this one called The Nuts, Bedtime at the Nut House. Now, it's been a while since we read this, but you might remember that in this story, it's a family of nuts, right? And they do not want to go to bed. The kids don't want to go to bed, and the parents are trying to make them go to bed, and they keep singing and dancing and finding new toys to play with. Maybe you've experienced that in your house. And so eventually, at the end of the story, it says, and all was calm and nutty and right. So Mama Nut turned off the light. Good night, little nuts. Good night. So the ending shows that the problem got solved, because the problem was with the, that they didn't want to go to bed, and also that the day is over. It's kind of like saying, this journey is complete. The day is over. The lights are off. They're saying good night. That gives some, um, that gives a nice finish to the story, right? So the author really had to think about how that story should end. The last example from my house that I want to show you is this book, Can I Be Your Dog? Remember, we have read this book at school too. And the dog in the story writes letters to all the neighbors saying, hey, can I be your dog? I'm looking for a home. And everybody says, no, 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 you can't be our dog. In fact, some of them are not very nice at all. But the author had to think about how he wanted this story to end. And so he had to think, what would make this a happy ending? Well, obviously a happy ending for a dog that wants a home is that the dog would get a home, right? How can he show that the dog gets what he wants? And how does he feel about that? Well, on this last page... There's a picture that shows us this. There's the um, dog with the letter, and then we know that the mail carrier is the one that actually adopted the dog. And so on the last page it says, Dear Mitzi, you know what? My tail has been wagging ever since I got your note. My answer is yes. Truly yours, Arfi. P.S. Woof. And then over here it says, scratch, scratch. Not only does the author show us with the words and then this little design around the word yes and then the paw print and everything, the author also shows us in the picture the dog is really happy. The problem is solved and the dog gets what he wants, which is just a person to be with. So this author used a thoughtful ending. The ending goes with the story, it tells how the character is feeling, and it makes sense 
for what the solution of the problem in that story was. If you're having trouble thinking of an ending for your story, my challenge to you is to find some picture books at home, just like I did. Look at their endings. What did the author do to make it thoughtful and interesting? Maybe you can get some inspiration from books that you already have. Continue writing your fiction stories, and if you're ready to start a new one, then go ahead and do that. We're going to keep writing our fiction books for a few more weeks, so you'll definitely get more than one done. All right, have a great time writing today.